Hey guys, I thought I'd do this where you could kind of see it in both the light and the dark. <clears throat> um, helpful hint, be smarter than your model. I finished doing some light blocking and turned it on and I had no lights on my saucer. Kind of helps if you turn it on and hooked it up. So anyway, just here's kind of some of the light blocking accomplished. And of course I got that top strobe. And of course I don't have my uh, bridge done yet because I, I'm going to paint it white and be able to make sure of the exact placement. But slowly but surely she's coming together. Yeah, yeah, well, I guess I can live with that as far as the light blocking. Maybe a hair more, but she's getting another coat of paint after I sand this one down. Also another hint, um, the clamps that I used were so strong they actually dug into the paint. So I'm going to have to sand that down, and that's no big deal because she was going to get a sand job anyway. A little wet sanding. But yeah, so she's coming together a little bit. And I thought it might be helpful to paint the bridge white before I actually set her down, but you kind of get the idea. You wouldn't believe the amount of light that spot puts out. And it would be helpful to probably paint the bottom one too. But that gives you an idea. Um, not getting a whole lot of light back there through the officer's lounge. Not really sure why. And of course, the impulse engines look pretty good. So I think what I'm going to do is give her a sand down, one more coat of paint, check for light blocking, and I think I'm going to put some a clear coat on it, and then stop there, because I've heard that there are some light issues when you put it on the neck, and I don't want to do the Aztec decals yet, until I know that she's fitting properly. So I'm not really sure about how to go about that. If I should do the Aztecs first, then mount it to the neck, or mount it to the neck, check for light blocks, and then do the Aztecs. So, I don't know. Any ideas that you guys may have, I'd appreciate. But, yeah. She is kind of getting there. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a hair more light blocking. That's alright. I think. Because she's going to get a paint job. So anyway, guys, thanks again for all the help. It's been fun. It's been challenging. I crack up every time I see that this model kit is rated a 2 for activities. And it probably is a 2. Now, the decals are probably a 5, and the lights are probably a 9. So I think that gives us a rating of an average of, what, 7? But I'm having fun. I just have to slow it down a little bit. I'm used to um, seeing a whole lot more progress on the 1-350 to 350 battleships or Titanic. Um, but I am having a ball. And thanks to David and George and William and uh, everybody who's talking. And I'm looking forward to the idea of having a, a drawing for Best Arboretum and Best Officer's Lounge and Shuttle Bay. I just kind of threw that out there. I didn't know it would really take. But uh, anyway... I really appreciate the friendships I've made, too. It's fun. Um, I actually went to the doctor today to get this. She looks like she's 12. She's my endocrinologist. And I told her, because I had paint on my fingernail from spray paint, and she goes, um, what, you paint your nails? I said, no, I'm building the Enterprise. And she said, which one? The original or the refit? That's my endocrinologist. And she's in love with the new 2009 and 2014. She even knew that J.J. Abrams left and then came back. So who knew? There's, there's us model freaks out there everywhere. Or at least enterprise freaks. Well, until the next one, guys. Have fun. And uh, thanks for all the helpful suggestions.